In the age of climate change, the automotive industry is shifting towards more sustainable transportation solutions. Here are the top eco-friendly cars set to launch in 2024. Cadillac Celestic. For many years, Cadillac has struggled to compete with European luxury brands. Still, it has persevered as seen by the release of its new electric flagship, the new 2024 Celestic Luxury Sedan. Although this stunning vehicle resembles the new Lyric EV SUV in terms of family resemblance, it stands out thanks to its slender lines, sweeping roof, and bustling rear end. The designers at Cadillac claim to have combined historical design cues with cutting-edge technologies that forecast the future course of the American luxury brand. The interior decor is equally dramatic as the exterior, and the cabin dazzles with vividly colored leather, a 55-inch digital dashboard, and bucket seats designed in the Eames style. A small group of artisans will hand-build each Celestic as the line assembles them. According to the EPA, the Altium battery pack that powers the Celestic is big enough to provide around 300 miles of driving range per charge. According to Cadillac, a 200 kilowatt connection will give the battery a range of 78 miles in just 10 minutes. Honda Prologue While Honda may not have the most popular brand when it comes to electric cars, it does look like they are on the brink of a breakthrough with the 2024 Prologue SUV. The company has revealed what this SUV is like and not so much info on what it can do on the drive. The only thing we can say for sure is that its platform will be mainly collaborated with General Motors, so expectations are high for this one. Design-wise, the 2024 Honda Prologue already snatches a good grade. You're getting a pretty cool compact SUV that can offer more space than the smaller models without the bulk of a big-size SUV. A pretty interesting choice by the Japanese automaker. If you like a minimalist design, the Prologue makes a perfect choice. The concept models so far show off a great blend of functionality, aesthetics, and simplicity. We cannot wait to see what comes next with about a $45,000 price tag. Mercedes AMG EQE SUV Mercedes unveiled a fully electric SUV that was the more potent AMG model, giving the five-seater up to 671 horsepower and 500 kilowatts. The two variants each have their front fascias, while the standard EQE SUV has a closed-off grille with a star motif. AMG's face has vertical accents with a Panamericana grille-inspired appearance. The interiors of the two vehicles are similar, and both come with the brand's optional hyperscreen display. Mercedes will also provide four trim levels for the Mercedes AMG EQE SUV, from the base 350 Plus to the AMG. The rear-wheel drive 350 Plus will have a single motor producing 288 horsepower, 214 kilowatts, and 417 pound-feet, 565 newton meters of torque. Mercedes will sell the 536 horsepower EQE 500 SUV and the dual motor EQE 350 4Matic. Customization will allow new Mercedes EQE owners to determine price as well as how long their vehicle can go when fully charged. GMC Sierra EV Here is an all-new electric GMC truck that boasts pretty cool numbers in every category. The Sierra EV will be released in a single, most premium Denali Edition 1 trim. It will be powered by a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup that produces 754 horsepower. GMC confirmed that its Sierra EV will last for a total of 400 miles drive from a full charge, and its maximum towing capacity is set at 9,500 pounds. Combine these with a stunning exterior and luxury premium interior on the inside, you'll be paying around $100,000 for the 2024 GMC Sierra EV. Is it worth it? You can decide on it when it comes out very soon. VinFast VF7 The VF7 is VinFast's response to the Toyota BZ4X, which suggests that it may end up being a possible best fan favorite of VinFast's electric SUVs. The VF7 should appeal to a wide range of electric SUV buyers because it is compact enough for confined urban environments but substantially large enough to compete on the open road. VinFast will be offered in Eco and Plus versions just like the smaller VF6. 349 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque 
are anticipated to be produced by the more potent dual-motor all-wheel drive plus variant. Regarding the front drive, single-motor VF7 Eco, expect the same 201 horsepower and 228 pound-feet of torque, but hopefully something more optimized to offer a little more punch. Details about battery pack capacity and EV system charging are not yet available. The VF7 will be marketed as an upscale electric crossover with options including premium vegan leather upholstery trim and a panoramic sunroof, a front LED light bar with animated effects, and rear trademark LED lights are among its exterior features. Each VF7 will also be equipped with various active driver assistance systems. Hyundai Kona Hyundai is now prepared to introduce the new crossover generation, which will hit American shores for the 2024 model year. There will be four different variants. Unsurprisingly, we are getting an EV version now. Then there is the purely combustion-powered, a hybrid, and the N-Line. Hyundai's designers first created the new Kona EV before incorporating the design into the other models. They all have a recognizable light bar along the edge of the hood up front. Below this strip on the corners are the headlights. The 2024 Hyundai Kona retains both of its four-cylinder engines from the previous generation. A 147HP 2.0-liter engine will be the base model, with a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine offered as an option. The hybrid drivetrain revealed for the Kona in other regions might also be available. Kia EV9 Early 2024 is when the 2024 Kia EV9 is anticipated to appear. The 2024 Kia EV9 will be built on the EV6's popularity, while being a big brother SUV with three rows. Interestingly, there will be five different trim options for the EV9, with a starting price of about $55,000. When built with max options, it should have roughly 400 HP and 480 pound-feet of torque. If you want the top potent version of this EV, those are not bad numbers for a three-row family SUV. For Kia, it's crucial to have a family EV in the fleet as the auto industry embraces electrification more and more. That will be the 2024 Kia EV9. Depending on how the interior is set up, it will most likely have seats for six or seven people as a three-row SUV. Mercedes-Benz EQG the Mercedes-Benz G-Class developed a reputation as an all-terrain vehicle over several decades before becoming a six-figure prestige symbol for celebrities. Now that gas-powered vehicles are becoming less popular, the G-Class is giving birth to the all-electric EQG. The EQG maintains the traditional G-Class boxy design, and Mercedes claims it will continue to be a capable all-terrain vehicle. One electric motor is anticipated to be installed in each wheel of the 2024 Mercedes EQG, and the battery pack will be integrated within a sturdy, vintage ladder frame. Four individually controlled electric motors, one near each wheel, are expected to power the EQG, enhancing both on- and off-road driving capability. If the design is any indication, the EQG will also include a two-speed gearbox that can be switched between for off-roading. Like the gas-powered G-Wagon, the EQG will have a stiff rear axle and a sophisticated independent front suspension that should improve on-road driving. The vehicle is already hard to find, and imagine trying to get your hands on an electric EQG now. Fisker Pair How would you feel if you could buy a really decent electric car from Fisker for around $30,000? Since its announcement last year, Fisker has continued to drop snippets regarding the Fisker pair. Over 5,000 reservations that have already been made for this budget crossover, which will start at around $30,000, is proof that the teasers are working. With around 250 miles of estimated range, most future pair owners will probably never need more than that. The anticipation and excitement are as intense as they could ever be. When Fisker Ocean became the highly anticipated Tesla Model Y alternative, we knew that the company could definitely make a smaller size EV for much cheaper than Ocean. At the moment, we do know that the design of Fisker Pair is pushing boundaries with its architecture, solar panel roof, and a Houdini trunk. The only hope right now is that Fisker won't raise prices due to supply chain cost spikes and so on. If Fisker will be able to do it, then millions of new orders are destined to go to Fisker. Acura ZDX 
This is clearly Acura's first major attempt to join the EV movement. However, expectations are already high for the 2024 Acura ZDX. There has been some chatter about the 2024 ZDX sharing the same problem with the Cadillac Lyric. While that might come as a shock, it should not distract you from the bigger picture. The Cadillac Lyric is a pretty amazing ride, and if that is anything to go by, then we may be getting the 2024 ZDX with around 500 horsepower at its most powerful stage. Acura has not yet stated what the battery capacity will be. Nevertheless, the 2024 Acura ZDX may be getting the same 102 kilowatt hour battery from the Lyric. So we're also looking forward to a range in the 300 mile per charge region. The 2024 ZDX is expected to retail at about $60,000 to $70,000 for its base model. And we're looking forward to how that turns out in production. Cadillac Lyric. By far one of the most interesting luxury electric SUVs you will ever set your eyes on. The new Lyric is making a return in 2024 with interesting changes based on customers' feedback. The major update to the Lyric is the new trim levels. You get a base model tech trim, a mid-range luxury trim, and at the top of the class is the new Sport. The major differences between these three trims are more aesthetic than functional. You may be able to go with either and still be just fine. Choreographed exterior lights, illuminated door handles, and rain-sensing wipers are the kind of features you may be missing out on if you go for the base model. Interestingly, range estimates are lower than they were in the 2023 Lyric. Rear-wheel drive will offer about 308 miles, while you get one mile less on all-wheel drive at 307 miles. Performance is to be the same with 340 horsepower on the single-motor rear-wheel drive and 500 horsepower on the dual-motor all-wheel drive variant. The 2023 model did not disappoint in performance, especially for a vehicle this size in the SUV class and we expect more of the same from the new Lyric. Good news is that the base level still starts at around $59,000. Jeep Recon EV. This Jeep is unique in the new lineup. The impending 2024 Jeep Recon EV is coming to crawl rocks, to say it exactly. Electric vehicles have impacted nearly every market, zapping into classes of electric vehicles like full-size pickup trucks, station wagons, luxury SUVs, and now this. The four-wheel drive Recon EV is a fully electric mid-size SUV with a power folding rooftop and easily detachable doors, inspired by the Wrangler 4XE plug-in hybrid. Initial renderings show a spare tire mounted on the tailgate, the LED seven slot front grille, the beefy BF Goodrich rubber and the seats for up to five people on top of rubberized flooring can all be seen in initial renders. As one of two new electric models to the Jeep portfolio, the Recon EV will join the impending Wagoneer EV. We anticipate the Jeep Recon EV to be about the same size as the current Jeep Wrangler, or two-row Grand Cherokee because it belongs to the mid-size SUV class. According to Jeep, the Recon EV production will be scheduled to be sometime in 2024. Dodge Charger When the next-generation Charger goes on sale for the 2024 model year, it will be an entirely new car for the Dodge lineup. A four-door model will also be added to the roster, but we will learn more about either vehicle closer to its debut. There will most likely be more trim levels for the 2024 Charger, but we only know of three for now. The number of engines that will power the various trims of the new Charger is still to be disclosed by Dodge, but the base 340 model is expected to produce 455 horsepower, while the mid-range 440 models is expected to produce 590 horsepower. An all-wheel drive, 800-volt architecture will be used by a high-performance trim known as SRT Banshee, although the model's horsepower capacity has yet to be disclosed. We also know that the initial prototype employs a multi-speed transmission rather than the traditional EV direct drive system. Strong acceleration also gives the driver the impression of a gear shift. Afila EV This joint effort between Honda and Sony looks like it is up for a massive debut with the 2026 Afila electric car. Afila's powertrain details will be available later but we already know how much tech will be going into this unique EV. Do not be fooled by the simple, minimalistic design on the outside. 
This EV will come with about 45 cameras and sensors in different parts of the vehicle that I believe are supposed to aid several features included self-driving. Yes, autonomous self-driving. Hopefully, we do not have to pay extra money to access the features. I am also expecting a powerful computer that will run the infotainment system that has been designed in partnership with Epic Games and driver assistance. Big tech giant Sony, working with a traditional auto manufacturer Honda, is a match made in heaven. But let's see how it will turn out. Polestar 2 2024 will be a special year for both Polestar as a company and the new, upgraded Polestar 2. According to the company newsletter, the Polestar 2 will get an increase in power, range, improve sustainability, and have a rear-wheel drive model optional. The 2024 Polestar 2 will be available in four main models, standard range, single motor, long range, dual motor with performance pack, long range, single motor, and long range, dual motor. Polestar is increasing the EV's range for 2024. You could be getting as much as 395 miles in some variants. Still, charging rates are stuck at 205 kilowatts, unfortunately, a little slower than Tesla's supercharging speeds. Chrysler Airflow Chrysler may not be the most consistent car brand in the world, but they're trying to switch up this narrative with an all-new entry. The Airflow EV concept was already revealed, but what we have right now looks like the vehicle that is closer to the production model. The Airflow will have the option of dual motors fitted on the front and rear wheels. Each of these motors will have about 201 horsepower. This already sounds exciting and I look forward to seeing how Chrysler optimizes the drive to get the best out of these powerful electric motors. The brand has already mentioned that this SUV is getting a 118 kilowatt hour battery pack that gets you around 400 miles of range, which is a pretty good number, and also in the range of some of the longest lasting EVs already on the market. There are a ton of futuristic features to the interior features of the Airflow, and if they are able to get anywhere close to this concept model, we have got an almost sci-fi looking EV on our hands. Lucid Gravity The Gravity Electric SUV is the logical next step after the release of the Lucid Air electric luxury sedan. The 2024 Lucid Gravity is anticipated to take what the Air offers but adding a higher seating position, a more spacious cabin, an SUV design, and yes, a higher price. It will use the same technology as the Air, the Air Sedan serves as the mechanical foundation for the Lucid Gravity SUV. We anticipate a version with dual electric motors and standard all-wheel drive. Like the Air, the Gravity will be available in a high-performance Grand Touring model with up to 1,200 horsepower. However, a Sapphire variant with up to 1,000 horsepower is also possible. The most expensive variants, like the Air, will probably be the most potent, with lower-end gravity trims having lesser horsepower figures. The gravity's taller, more angular SUV appearance will likely be less aerodynamic. Range should be slightly reduced as a result, even though its sedan brother promises a driving range of up to 516 miles per charge of its 112 kilowatt hour battery pack. The Gravity should be able to charge quickly using DC fast charging, just like the Air. It may include three years of free charging at Electrify America charging stations, plus still be eligible for federal tax credits for a couple more years. Porsche Macan EV Porsche's 2024 electrification initiatives are getting even more aggressive after the launch of the Macan EV. Before the new crossover makes its official appearance, Porsche will make the performance rear axle available with the Macan EV, depending on the model when it goes on sale. The two valve shock absorbers for the Porsche Active Suspension Management System are one of the new features of the Macan EV. They're available with steel or air suspensions, independently adjustable, and will provide better damper characteristics. The front and rear tires will have different widths to enable the rear biased weight distribution and wheel sizes will go up to 22 inches. The new data aids in giving the Macan EV a complete picture. In its most powerful configuration, the crossover will have up to 603 horsepower and more than 738 pound-feet of torque. In addition, it will have the technology, features, and suspension needed to harness all this power. Lincoln Star 
As usual, Lincoln is presenting one of the best looking SUV designs you will ever see. But this time, it is fully electric. The jaw-dropping new electric SUV called Lincoln Star is designed as a futuristic self-driving SUV with fully electric dashboard and infotainment screens. Apart from the fact that it looks like an SUV that was imported from outer space, on the outside, the interior concept is about as amazing as it can get. From the full-width display that covers the dashboard to the well-carved front seat and bucket seats in the back, there may also be an expensive beverage chiller, crystal touches, and trim pieces in rose gold. While there is a high chance that a lot of these may be excluded from the production unit, it would be great to see what will be left in it. The Lincoln Star is expected to arrive in 2024 as a 2025 model, and we already know that it will be available in the options of either rear-wheel or all-wheel drive, with an estimated price tag of $70,000. Chevrolet Silverado EV A worthy addition to Chevrolet's new electrified lineup is Silverado EV. A mid-gate design option allows users to fold the partition between the bed and the cab for added storage space. A big battery pack is believed to have a range of up to 400 miles on a single charge, and a battery with a range of 100 miles may be charged in just 10 minutes using DC fast charging technology. The 2024 Chevrolet Silverado EV can tow up to 10,000 pounds and handle loads weighing up to 1,300 pounds thanks to dual electric motors that produce up to 664 horsepower and provide standard all-wheel drive. The Silverado EV will only have two electric motors compared to the GMC Hummer EV's three electric motors. The configuration should still deliver strong acceleration performance. As Chevrolet claims, the top spec RST has at least 664 horsepower, while the base WT model manages with 510. Both all-wheel drive and four-wheel steering are standard. Customers who choose the RST model will discover that their vehicle has an adjustable air suspension. Nevertheless, a pair of enormous, stylish 24-inch wheels are optional. Locking differentials, substantial all-terrain tires, and other adventure-ready components will be added to the Silverado EV's suspension in the Trail Boss Edition. The maximum towing capacity of the Silverado EV at launch will be 10,000 pounds for the RST variant and 8,000 pounds for the WT. According to Chevrolet, a variant with a 20,000 pound towing capacity may soon be added to the list later on. Land Rover Range Rover EV With Land Rover's brand new chassis that can accommodate gas, plug-in hybrid, or electric propulsion, the company's flagship EV model now makes an evolutionary leap into the completely electric era. Luxury SUV that is also electric is expected to bring out the best of the Range Rover's unique and recognizable design reputation. Battery range, power, and pricing are among the crucial characteristics that are important, but we anticipate the Range Rover EV to maintain the plushness and strong off-road prowess that have come to represent the brand since it was introduced in the United States in 1987. An all-new chassis and new full-electric powertrain will be used in the 2024 Range Rover EV. The electric vehicle will be built on the long wheelbase variant, which should allow for three rows of seating, just like the current gas-powered range. A new multi-link suspension design frees up more space for the EV's battery and rear wheel steering system by reducing the amount of room required for wheel articulation. Deos Vian. Let us now turn the heat up a little with a practical electric hypercar, the Deos Vian. It is just about as impressive as it gets. From design to its performance specs, this is one hypercar that will surely make a statement before and after release. The curvy and subtle design features that it carries give the Vian a very futuristic energy. Completely designed by one of the best car designers in the world, ITAL Design, the hypercar is so cool and sexy. Additionally, when Williams Advanced Engineering does bring their Formula E expertise to build this hypercar, you know something big is cooking at the Deos Labs. So much so that Vian looks as if it could fly, and that may not be too far from possible with its proposed 2200 horsepower powertrain. The estimated 1475 pound-feet of torque will get this car from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 1.99 seconds. Now that is a hypercar that lives up to the name. Canoe 
The Canoe Pickup takes the utility of all pickup trucks to a whole new level with its design. So the attention it has canvassed over the last few years does not come as a surprise at all. Thanks to being an EV, the company has taken full advantage of the pickup size to offer the best space for passengers, cargo, and a ton of bells and whistles. As we draw closer to its projected 2024 availability, there is bound to be more hype in the direction of the truck, and we cannot wait to see how it performs in reality. The range on the canoe pickup truck is set at around 400 miles, and it is also expected to put out a whopping 600 horsepower. Interestingly, the U.S. Army was also attracted by the setup of the canoe pickup truck, and has already ordered a fleet of modified versions. Moreover, companies like Walmart are interested in a cargo delivery version of the same pickup truck. More orders means the project is still alive, and we should see the final production start very, very soon. Hyundai Ioniq 7 The 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 7, an all-electric SUV resembling the three-row Hyundai Palisade, is the new electric car Hyundai plans to use as a trigger for deep market penetration. This vehicle will have a seating capacity of seven or eight. The Hyundai Ioniq 7 model is one of the three new electric vehicles the company has already committed to releasing in the following years. There is no official word on the vehicle's release, although three trim levels might be anticipated. Because the company is concentrating on producing a vehicle that has a driving range of 300 miles minimum, it is anticipated that this vehicle will feature a huge, usable capacity battery, and a 350 kilowatt fast charger will be included. Pretty decent performance, but for a much cheaper price. Rolls-Royce Spectre The hallmark of a Rolls-Royce has always been quiet, smooth propulsion. It has had a V12 engine ever since the company's brand was incorporated into the BMW Group in 2003. But other than nostalgia for gasoline, there are a few reasons why switching to an all-electric power won't enhance the distinctive Rolls-Royce experience. The first-ever 2024 Rolls-Royce Spectre EV fills that gap. The luxury brand makes the front and rear electric motors for the Spectre. They produce 664 pound-feet of torque and 577 horsepower. A battery that has a capacity of more than 100 kilowatt-hours provides power. Although it has a different design, the battery has the same chemistry as the BMW iX M60. According to Rolls-Royce, the Spectre's anticipated range on a full charge is 320 miles, by applying the WLTP standard, which is utilized in Europe. Although EPA estimates can vary slightly, a range of about 300 miles is reasonable. A sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour takes 4.4 seconds. However, a Rolls-Royce isn't about violence and is unsuitable for drag strip competitions against a Tesla.